Today our topic is going to be the setup of the quick tap tool. First of all, we'll go over all the tools needed to do these adjustments. We'll talk about shimming the tool, changing the pitch, changing the tap, and priming the pump. All right, let's begin. Today we're going to need a quick tap tapping tool, a standard four millimeter hex end wrench, a flathead screwdriver, a caliper, taps, a pitch insert assembly, shims for the tool, a tank with pump, and because we're working with pressured oil and removing and retaining clips, we're gonna want safety glasses. Now we're gonna talk about setting the length of the tool. Uh, in order to set the length of the tool, we're looking to uh, keep about a sixteenth of an inch from the tip of the tool to the material when it's under the ram. And we do accomplish this by shimming. We don't want to add more than 255 thousandths of shims uh, because you'll lose engagement with the head. Uh, the tool comes standard with about 200 thousandths of shimming already in the tool. In order to do this, we'll need our standard set of shims that came with the tool and a four millimeter hex wrench. Uh, what you're looking to do is remove the two screws from the tool, remove the cap, and then change the, sh change the shims as needed. Place the cap back on. And you're all set. Next, we'll look at changing the pitch insert assembly. We're going to need a caliper, a flathead screwdriver, a pitch insert assembly, and the tool itself. In order to set the length of the insert, you're going to look at the standard dimension that we're setting the height at. In this case, it's 1.810. It'll always be labeled in your pitch insert assembly here, or in metrics, 46 millimeters. With the tap in, in there, you'll just want to take a caliper and measure that overall length and make sure that you're adjusted to the right height. Next, we'll look at removing the stripper cap. Just need that flathead screwdriver and take off the retaining ring that's right there. After setting the length on the pitch, we'll go ahead and insert it into the tool, remove the stripper cap, move the oil mist nozzle out of the way, take note of where the key is on the tool, put your retaining ring into the tool, put your oil mist nozzle back, and put your stripper cap back on. That's it. Next we'll talk about quickly changing the tap in the tool. Uh, you'll need taps that match the pitch of the tool that you're going to use. Press down on this outer ring here. Place the tap in the tool and release it. You can also replace the tap while the tool is assembled by depressing that ring with a screwdriver, taking out the old one, and replacing it with a new one. Finally, we'll talk about priming the pump of the tool. For this, you'll need the air pump that came with it, the tank, the quick connect hoses, the tool itself, and something to press down on the actuator here. Uh, after you fill the tank with oil, go ahead and put on the included air pump that came with the tool. Add some pressure into the system. Attach your quick connect to the tool itself. And then go ahead and start priming the tool until oil comes out the top. Once you've confirmed oil has come out of the oil mist nozzle assembly, feel free to remove the pump the pump end from the tank and put the original end back on, the tool will remain pressurized. If you liked what you saw, like us or subscribe on YouTube. Feel free to send comments or suggestions to the email you see down below. I hope you learn more about one of the most versatile tapping tools on the market. And technically speaking, now you know.